Hello everybody, Grandpa Dan here. Well, I got uh, the engine all put back together and last night late I was able to get it to fart and burp a little bit. Um, <laughs> but but it was kind of late and I didn't have a muffler on it so I didn't dare really try to run it uh, too much last night. I got, uh, got a muffler on it now and I got it filled up full of water. I adjusted the timing a little bit more. Uh, we'll see. Uh, we'll see. We'll see how it runs now. Uh, one problem I do have, though, is right, right there. I have an exhaust manifold gasket leak. In fact, it's a, such a big leak. I can see right, right into the exhaust port there. <laughs> but all I had was just some some junk uh, old used uh, gaskets there so I put a little goop on them but uh, it, it, it just it just doesn't cover that corner very well so but that's fine that's fine I'll uh, I'll get some new gaskets but I wanted to just uh, uh, try to see uh, see if it's gonna run so um, so there you go we'll try it and see uh, it it might be a little loud we'll see and all I have right now is uh, just some uh, two-stroke gas, uh, gas with the oil mixed in with it. So it, so it might be smoking a little bit. We'll see. Not bad for a two-day project, huh? This is the one of those two blocks that I picked up on Thursday in uh, Wisconsin, and uh, it was uh, just the block, and um, so I used the head and the covers and the pan and the flywheel housing and such from uh, from the engine that <coughs> that old uh, uh, diamond block that. I was going to make a two-cylinder engine out of, and it worked. We got it to run. So that, so that's kind of fun. Let's try one more time here. It's always fun to get these things to run after putting them together with just a bunch of oddball parts laying around. So lots of fun. Well, there you go. We got another one to run. Another one saved uh, saved from the junk pile. It uh, might come in handy for somebody somewhere. Well, thanks for watching. More fun to come.